Hey folks, welcome to MoGraph Plus. This video is a free sample from our course, The Ultimate Introduction to Redshift for Cinema 4D. It's a massive 14 plus hours course in which we explore all the aspects of Redshift for Cinema 4D thoroughly. Make sure to check it out. The link is in the description. Finally, let's create a few metal shaders. So create a new Redshift material. Rename it to gold and assign it to the shader ball and open it up. In the second lesson of this section or third lesson, uh, we talked about metalness and how to create metal shaders. In this case, change the Fresnel type to metalness, increase the metalness value to one. Now change the diffuse color to this pale yellow and reflectivity color to a lighter, less saturated version of the same diffuse color and that's our gold shader. Now immediately let's work on the reflection roughness. I'm going to add a texture node and uh, load this map that is called metal roughness. And set its color space to raw. Now add a scalar ramp node after it and connect the ramp to the reflection roughness input. The result is too rough. So in the scalar ramp node, first I'm going to select both of the points and change their point type to easy ease to get a bit more natural curve. Let's make the brighter parts of the texture that cause the rougher reflections to be a bit darker, maybe around 0.4. I'm also gonna select the texture itself and set its UV scale to 22. Now let's quickly add a bump map node. Set the bump height scale to something very low, like around 0 0.006. Use the original texture as the bump map input. And connect the bump map node to the bump input of the redshift material. We can copy the noise bump mapping from one of the previous shaders with the bump blender node as well and paste them here. Now connect the first bump map to the base input of the bump blender and connect the bump blender to the bump input of the redshift material. And this is a very quick metal shader. If you want to change the whole feel and look of the shader, simply change the texture that controls both the reflection roughness and bump mapping. Let me just show you a final resolution render for the gold shader. Now let's create a copper shader as well. I'm gonna just duplicate the gold shader and rename it to copper and assign it. In the redshift material, change the diffuse color to this light brownish orange and a brighter, less saturated version of the same color for the reflectivity color. And here is our copper shader. And here is the final resolution render for the copper shader. So that's how you approach creating different shaders in Redshift in their simplest form. Obviously, this can get way more complex than this. Now you have a good foundation to build upon. It's a very simple approach. Reflection roughness is the key to everything and you build around it. So in this lesson, we learned how to create shaders like plastic, parquet, concrete, gold, and copper. See you in the next video. Make sure to visit our website, mographplus.com or our Gumroad page at gumroad.com slash mographplus and check out our premium CGI and rendering courses for Cinema 4D, 3DS Max, Maya, Arnold, Corona, V-Ray, Redshift, Octane, and so on. See you in the next video.